We can make some Star Wars movies and then sell the rights. Listen to some stereotypical desert music. Even though we're not really in the desert. Kind of. Sort of. We are, though, still in photorealistic tree land, so that's what's important. <clears throat> and excessively large spike land. And there are more giants with puppets. Everything's awesome in this land. Yay! Just what I needed. Um, so I did actually record another session of, what is it, uh, Lord of the Rings, but it'll take a second to get up because uh, I need to do some editing, because I, I brought in my co-op partner, my brother, but um, it ended up that he was, just the way that it worked out is he had to start as a level 1 character, and so he was really underleveled, so we played a one boss fight for about an hour, um, so I'll probably be cutting that together in a fails compilation, but... Oh, I'm on top. Um, but it'll take a little bit for me to edit that all together and then just hit the head of the gam go go booga, whatever the hell it is. Go that way. No one loves you. Um, so yeah, if you are a, one of the three fans of that series, you'll be excited to hear it's coming back for, you know, like three episodes and then it's going away again. Ah, more stickers! Yay! I can put these all over my new my new fridge and all these other things. It's gonna be exciting because apparently I've confused stickers with magnets. Yeah. My parents are this kid. Lucas's parents are probably not gonna be happy about all the stickers that are gonna be going around his house. Okay, let's go. Let's not die. Well, oh, there we go. Don't you shoot lasers at me, stupid puppet. And now we are on a Bowser stage. This is the this is Castle A1, guys. Uh, we've made it through the other seven worlds. And we're about to face Bowser, so good times. Or Charizard. They're pretty much the same thing, though. If you think about it, Charizard... Char or Charizard. What the Charizard and Bowser combined to make Charizard. But uh, Charizard and Bowser are the same thing, really. Pretty much just dragons. Or whatever. You stop. I'm a little kid. Don't be hitting me. Although, I'm not a kid that's smart enough to not be hit by fire, but... That takes a lot of smarts. So you can't expect that much of me. Oh, shit. I made a mistake. Yeah. Why don't, why don't we catch that Pokemon? That looks way better. That whale thing. You can just, like, throw a whale on people, and it can suffocate them to death by being enormous. They've locked the doors! No! Wow. Actually, that was probably helpful. I would have died. Safety first. Always lock the door, kids. So that when you're launched at 300 miles an hour by a large, fiery ball, um... You don't fly out the door and get killed by being outside. Because the outside world is horrible. Good. Metapod saving the day. Let's just use this. Just beat it continuously with a baseball bat. It seems to work with all my real life problems, so it should work in this game too. You know? If someone disagrees with you? Baseball bat. Got a hard math problem? Baseball bat. Kitten is too cute and it's distracting you, baseball bat. To yourself, of course. I would never baseball bat a kitten. That'd be horrible. Well, I was about to make fun of how these things aren't very impressive, but then I got hurt by it, so I kinda stopped. Whoa. No, we're not going to be able to use that super-powered move. Ow. Oh, I did it! I actually used the PK Thunder. 
And then a hammer fell out of that thing. I'm glad they store useful equipment for me and other enemies. Jump in the gap. And can I make- oh, I made it. I didn't die. Will I die this time? No. Oh, I'm feeling a secret down here. I'm sensing secret land. Ready, guys? Look at that. I found a secret slope. We never would have found this slope if I hadn't gone down there, so... You guys should thank me. Really, you should. And another secret. That is like 25 secrets in the last two seconds. I'm very impressive. We'll send this down to be nice. The next person, I made a mistake. Well, I was trying to be considerate. I was trying to be the guy who like rewinds his VCR. Oh, it came back up. Uh, back down. Let's be considerate. There we go. See, now whoever's following me and is planning to kill me, it's like a separate headhunter trying to kill Lucas, he can take the elevator up. He's not stuck. I'm just that nice of a guy. Doop a doop. <gasps> a tunnel. <laughs> wow, he's moved from shooting people with guns to just trying to squash people. Oh, that son of a bitch. You're gonna die. Lucas gonna mess you up. Then the Pokemon trainer is gonna throw his small squirtle at you and you'll get a little bit damp. Which actually might work because Lucas has electricity, so I'm sensing some sort of combo move here. Electricity and slight dampness would probably work well together. And he's just rolling away. Get this is my motorcycle now. I will use it against you. In a feat of humiliation. Haha! -ha. Yes. You can you stand no chance against your motorcycle's own wheel, my friend. You've also gone outside of the stage, sort of. Ah, now I'm metal. And now you're eating me. I'm not you waited till I was metal to do that. I guess you're just... You're one of those people who likes to chew on a, on tinfoil. God damn it. Just come here. I'm gonna try to... I'm trying to catch you with my tongue. For some reason. I feel like my tongue would probably... Have to wash it after that, because... Oreo is a dirty son of a bitch, but... Ah, perfect. Slow motion. Do the taunt. Do the... the yeah, I did... Oh, really? My taunt is slipping? Lucas, uh... He's got some self-esteem issues. Like, I'm gonna show off by pretending to slip on a banana and falling over. Haha, <laughs> isn't that cool? No? Okay. Well, I'm sick, so it doesn't really matter. Time to go into Intimidation Tunnel. Meanwhile, in Intimidation Tunnel. King Didi D. Uses the new duster that he got for Christmas. <gasps> Uh-oh. Ah, uh, there it is. Now they're officially branded with King DDD Marketing. He's gonna sell those and make a bundle. That looks painful. That's what happens if you don't have a licensed engineer. Make your... Okay. They are not working together. <gasps> we can play as the inanimate statue. Let's go. To the cave. To the King Dedede cave. A little less catchy than the Bat Cave, but almost as good. Instead of looking for survivors, we immediately move to the next room. Not saving King DDD or any of his minions. That's okay, we're not actually heroes, we're just people who are running around looking for more trophies. And tax forms. Okay. Okay, it's Mario again. Actually, I'm Mario, so I guess it's kind of appropriate. And there are Goombas. And ladder climbing, just like in Mario. And lanterns and stalactites slash stalagmites. All staples of the Mario series. Also getting my ass beaten by Hammer Bros. That is pretty much a staple of Mario. Just die. Oh, okay, don't kill me. Maybe, let me beat you up. Don't. What are you doing? 
There we go. I have the smoke ball. Stand back, or I'll use it. And make beautifully colored smoke. Whee! To go along with this amazing music. Sort of. Not really that amazing. <laughs> there are some serious stability problems with these rocks. They are just falling and raising and all over the place. No, I must get the trophy! Yes, I did it! I did it at no cost to me! Totally didn't die trying to get that trophy. At all. I just went to where all Mario's go when they feel lonely, which is bottomless pits. I went to a farm out in the country instead of dying because I'm a pet. Oh, this is like that one game show where you have to jump through stuff. Or he might have an unfair advantage with his, like, puff up air ability. Apparently, all these people are Jedi and have lightsabers. That's normal. Yay! I'm glad. Nuclear waste in the background! A safe environment to raise your kids in. Take them to cave school where nuclear waste reigns supreme. Also, hazardous gases. And lots of ro moving rocks and enemies to mess you up with. Also, the platforms don't stay still. Bring your kids to your kids to cave school today, where all the safety practices are kind of questionable. And there are large beetles ready to attack at any moment. But don't worry, they look a little bit cuter when their shell is gone. <laughs> 